Mm, this looks nice. First, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to my subscribers, my viewers, and the people in Ukraine. Whatever is happening there right now, uh, they're never in the news anymore. So uh, let's get on to the video. The Hansen Brandenburg W-29 was a German fighter float plane which served in the closing months of World War I from bases in the North Sea coast. It was based on the W-12 biplane that it was designed to replace. The monoplane configuration created less drag and thus gave greater speed. The W-29 was used by a lot of countries like Austria-Hungary, Denmark, Finland, the German Empire, Hungary, Japan, the Netherlands, Norway, Romania, and the United Kingdom. Several of these W-29s were given to the Imperial Japanese Navy and were used as Hansa Shikisuijo Teisatsuki, Type Hansa Surveillance Floatplane. In the United Kingdom, on the other hand, at least one W-29 is known to have been captured and tested at the Marine Aircraft Experimental Establishment in Felixstowe. But other than that, I don't have much information about the Hansa Brandenburg W-29. So uh, anyway, I'll get into the building. Making the fuselage was one of the hardest and the easiest things I've ever done since the bottom was such a simple shape, yet the top was also so complicated with all of the curves. The area around the gunner seat was by far the hardest thing to make because I had to figure out how to make the shape by myself. Surprisingly, the wings were the easiest thing to make because they were simply shaped uh, compared to the rest of the aircraft.
After making both of the wings, I used a paper clip to keep the wings in a dihedral angle. Surprisingly, the engine was easier to make than I thought since there aren't many parts exposed. Making the floats were very easy, but attaching them to the actual aircraft was not very easy. Making the propeller was actually easier than I thought, and it turned out really great. For the paint scheme, I used the search and rescue design used in Denmark around 1920. After around two weeks of hard work, it all came together.
This is, if not the best aircraft I've ever made on this channel, considering I haven't made that many. And, uh, even though it's a search and rescue aircraft, there are still guns, because maybe you're trying to hunt down pirates like Porco Rosso. Anyway, thank you all for watching this casual video. Thank you all for subscribing, and, uh, I'll see you next time. And Merry Christmas, too. Очень смелый видно тот, потому что только смелый сам полезет в самолет, потому что только смелых уважает высота, потому что в самолете все зависит от винта. А? А?